Hello, today I've decided to make a horror game, but I'll try to do it in just 4 hours. Even though I'm not a fan of playing horror games, they are quite popular these days and I've decided to create a game in a different style. Honestly, I think it will be fun. First of all, we need a theme for our horror game. I personally want to achieve a similar look to the one in the Backrooms game, so I'll take inspiration from it and design the game area accordingly. Then, adding horror elements to the game should be easy. As a game developer, I'm not very familiar with design work in games but I'll do my best. Let's create our project file and get started right away. I want our game to have a first person perspective so I need a smooth running FPS controller. I'm setting up the scene and starting to write camera and player scripts right away. I can say it's working nicely for now but there will still be points to adjust. I believe that the FPS perspective will provide a better experience for the player. Now we've come to perhaps the most challenging part of the game, map and lighting design. I'm doing this game alone and honestly I don't understand the lighting systems in Unity at all but I need to finish this game within 4 hours. First I'll adjust the lights and effects in a closed room. Then I'll think about designing the map. I tried spotlights and along with the bloom effect I can say they look good. Honestly these are the only effects I know and I have to make the game with what I know. I've decided to move away from the map in Backrooms game for now and started looking for low poly designs. There are many nice designs for free on on the Unity Asset Store. I added some low poly designs to the ground but I'm still not sure. I may change it depending on how the game should look. And now let's talk about one of the most important effects in a horror game. The distortion effect in the post processing bloom effect. When you look towards the light it seems like there are reflections and the effect appears right in front of our eyes. I believe we'll achieve a great look with other effects as well. Now let's do a quick test if you want. We're walking around in a closed room and I think our lights look good but of course there's still a lot to do. I can say we're making good progress especially the ambience is very good. I think we'll have a great game in the end. With a sudden change of decision I've decided to go back to the design of the backrooms game or rather I just changed the textures and light colors because a more realistic look would be better. As a result it looks more like a horror game compared to the previous design especially the contrast and color balance look very good. Actually I can say we've completely set up our lighting system and it took a lot of time because I did it entirely by trial and error. We have a little time left and I want to take a break here because I'm quite tired and walking around from time to time helps me. As you can see the weather is really nice today and the sun is about to set. It really gives peace and inspiration. Ok our break is over, we've gathered our energy. Now we need to design a map. I thought of a labyrinth for this and immediately found a sample image on the internet to create my map. I transferred it to Unity. My original plan was to create the map with Unity Pro Builder but I don't want to spend time on it right now because I don't know how to use it very well. Since I'm not using Pro Builder, the walls won't look very good but the important thing here is the game's visuals. I quickly finished the whole map and made a closed labyrinth. If you like this video we can add different maps to this game. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel in advance. Let's move on to the purpose of our game. What I planned is to add enemies as AI and they will chase us. We on the other hand try to find an object that appears randomly in a position as quickly as possible. I can say I made a mix of speedrun and horror games. Actually I'm already very curious about the outcome because I really love speedrun games. I want to add a counter as text. I'll use Text Mesh Pro for this and and also think about using the same effects in canvas. After solving the counter with a small piece of code, the game's visuals improved a lot and I also didn't forget to add a vignette effect to the game. Especially the counter added a very different atmosphere to the game. Right now, we're progressing exactly as I wanted. Although I wasn't very hopeful at first in terms of visuals, as I made the game, I can say that the game looks exactly like a horror game, so I'm proud of myself. Now let's design the object we'll search for and its animations within the map. I designed a sparkling and rotating random object because we have about 45 minutes left. It would be difficult to design an object from scratch especially since setting up the lights took up a lot of time at the beginning of the game so we need to be quick. The sparkling object turned out nicely. Now we need to write the spawn code. Actually I'll use a very simple system. I'll determine as many spawn points as I want and randomly select one of them to 
spawn at the start. Let's test what we've done right away. I also lowered the resolution of the game during this time. I want it to be old fashioned like horror games. Alright, now we've spawned and we need to find the object, but the map is quite complex so it's hard to find. We need to search quickly and I can say it's exactly a speedrun horror game. The map is a bit large and I get confused a lot while playing the game. Finding the object is quite difficult, which is where the fun of the game comes from. Now we need to add entities that will make the game scary as models. I quickly found the model sample from Sketchfab and adjusted its animations from Mixamo. It will be enough for it to follow us like a zombie. Since we have little time, just a walking animation will be enough for now. I added a small light as well as Unity Navmesh agent for AI technology. Right now it follows us and I made some minor code adjustments for this. In addition, I added enemies to different parts of the map. Putting just one enemy would be boring. I guess the game is over. Now let's see the final version of the game. I don't want to talk here and I leave you alone with the final version of the game. Alright that was the final version of the game and I had a lot of fun making the video. I hope you enjoyed it too. Since I'm still a new channel I would be very happy if you support me by subscribing so we can reach more people. Also feel free to share your thoughts on the video. I choose my video topics based on the comments I receive from you. Well it was a tiring day but it was worth it. See you again in future videos.